Today we're going to be putting a WeatherTech stone and bug deflector on a 2021 Tacoma. It looks like it would take about five minutes or less. Couldn't be easier. Let me show you what's going on. The bug deflector comes with pre-drilled holes in it. It's form fitted. You just can't make a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. This is like one page directions, but you just don't need any more than that. Basically, first you put in the inserts. And again, the holes in the uh, bug deflector kind of self-explanatory as to where you put these. One goes on the outside and then you skip a hole and put the next one here. Snap in one so this gets one too. Skip that middle hole. Last one goes on the very end. Make sure they're in there well, because that is what's going to hold the bug deflector on. Okay, now we got some washers and some screws. Screw's only about a half inch long. There's really not much to that at all. So we're gonna put a washer on it. Use a Phillips screwdriver. And normally, I, for just about everything else, I'm gonna use a, a drill driver. But since those screws are only a half inch long, it really not a whole A whole lot of screwing going on plus I'm afraid if you really if, if you weren't careful and put some torque on it it's a possibility you could snap that bug shield so we don't want to do that we don't want to split it or crack it so we'll just use this I'm gonna come over here and do this other side I'm not gonna tighten it up real tight yet now I'll come on the outside and work toward the middle screw and washer in each of, not each of the holes, but each of the holes that you put the uh, insert in, the little white insert. And that screw helps. That screw they gave, there's an extra insert. That screw helps flare, when you screw the screw in, it flares that insert out and holds it in there better. I'm gonna go back and tighten everything up. Once or twice a year, open your hood and check the tightness of those. And I will even keep that extra insert they gave me. So now we're going to close it and then shut it completely. All right, now it's got some bumpers on it. Let me show you what that's all about. But that, especially on that color truck, I mean, that looks good. I'll give you some more angles here on it in just a second. I've seen some on red trucks, blue trucks, and white trucks, and some of them just didn't, to me, just did not look that good. It just uh, kind of clashed with the color. But this uh, gray metallic, shoot. I mean, that looks good. 
Uh, it's supposed to do a pretty good job, we'll find out, but a pretty good job at deflecting bugs, uh, flipping them up and over the windshield, and uh, rocks also. In fact, some people say that it uh, does a real good job, and they, have, uh, they live in a high rock area, an area that they have a lot of problems with that, and, uh, and it just does a great job. Uh, set, you know, a lot of good testimonials on that. So right now we've had three or four days of rain. It needs a bath, but that looks good. Now, let me show you the bumper pads, what they do. And for me, it's an option that I'm not gonna take, but I'll show you. So they give you some little bumper pads to peel off and stick right here. So if that did flex, and that's, I don't, man, you'd have to be going 500 miles an hour for that thing to flex. But they say, you know, just in case it does, to put that bumper there so it won't scratch. Or right here so it won't scratch. I guess if it's, if it's gonna scratch, it would be right in there. So I'm not gonna do that, but if I, you know, going down the road, I see it's a problem, I'm gonna keep these in the glove compartment and I will put them, I don't wanna stick anything to my paint job. It's my baby, it's brand new. And uh, so if I do use these at all, I will stick them on the uh, WeatherTech uh, deflector instead of sticking it on my paint job. So, and I may do, I may go ahead and do that, but uh, as, as of right now, that's, that's pretty stiff. I don't, I don't see that. I mean, it takes, it takes uh, 10 pounds or so, five or 10 pounds for me to, to move that over there. And I can't see wind doing that, but who knows? But that's a uh, shoot. That's what it looks like. And um, just another, another doodad to put on the truck. This is a 20, 21 Tacoma. It's got the blackout package with the wheels, the, all the emblems. It's got uh, Predator steps on it. It's got the TRD shift knob. I've added a tonneau cover. I'll show that later. I've added something else in the back. And, um, but anyway, I'm just, uh, I'm loving this truck. And there's just a cool factor that goes with that, that uh, is above and beyond the functionality of deflecting bugs and rocks. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm gonna tell my wife I bought it, you know, for safety reasons, so, instead of cool reasons, all right? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so anyway, is it for you? I don't know, but, uh, it certainly might be, and uh, you have to judge as to the color uh, whether or not to um, to put it on your truck as to whatever color you, truck you have. But I think it I think it really looks good with this one because it kind of looks like it belongs. So they make a more low profile one. It just it it basically just lays right down on the truck. And while I don't think I think it might protect your hood from uh, rock chips and protect right in here from rock chip. Uh, I can't see because of the profile of it that you've got much of a wind sweep there that will um, will lift uh, bugs and rocks. So uh, that's, that's why I went with this one instead of the low profile one. I just don't see a point in the low profile one except for looks. So I wanted to, I want to have something that's functional too because you know, do get a lot of bugs and haven't had any rocks yet, but don't want any either. And man, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. All right, that's it. 21 Tacoma SR5, two wheel drive, short bed. And now it's sporting a WeatherTech bug and stone deflector. And we're looking good. All right, we're gone.